Welcome to Sunstar Games, the place to find new strategy games. Today we're going to play Terminal Squad Swarmites, which is a tower defense game with some roguelike elements. So first thing we're going to do is we got to pick a path in this sort of um, overall map. I've already finished the very first mission, now we can pick between getting more coins or getting more resources. Now one of the roguelike elements in the game is you click on this, and this is kind of rerolls that you get, and this is going to give you some sort of effects for the next particular area. So enemies move faster in approaching soldiers, enemy has a chance to split by two at death, and enemies reflect 50% damage. That's actually pretty bad, so we could click again to reroll. Now because I already finished my first area, I actually get some abilities. We get a drone, which releases a drone that attacks nearby opponents or enemy defenses. Recovery time is 30 seconds, and we can pick between area that's going to give us more coins or more resources. So first thing I'm doing is I'm actually gonna reroll because I'm not a big fan of the setup that we've got. Sometimes you can get even things that are good for you. Alright, so we get enemies move faster when approaching soldiers, enemy buildings reflect 25% damage and the enemy has a choice to split by two at death. So this is even worse. So let's try this one more time. This time we get... An extra point of improvement when winning, when the enemy building is the trace, additional enemies appear, additional enemies when using the skill. So we'll try that, we'll do the coins area. Now the enemies do not show up immediately, it takes them a while, so I would highly recommend that you try to wait for a while before you start building your things so that you can get a lot of resources. You can only build within areas of your connectors, so here on these, around these eight squares essentially. You don't have to place precisely on the square, you can place it kind of in between a little bit. We can add more connectors to produce more energy and increase our radius of construction. Warehouse which produces resource, which is this thing on the left. Turrets which attacks opponent, but we cannot lay any more buildings after the turret, so it has to be kind of the last thing. And barracks which produces soldiers. So the enemies, like I said, they tend to come, if you don't build anything, they tend to come around like 180 resources or so, or something like that. So you want to wait a while until you get a lot of resources, so you can build at least the barracks and the warehouse together. and then the first set of enemies is going to come. So I'm going to build a barracks over here. You can see I don't need to build it precisely in the middle of the building. So let's place it. I think I'm going to place it up here. And then we're going to build a warehouse, kind of hide it behind it. And this is going to send the energy to there. So first to build it, and then this blue, once this blue thing is filled, we're going to get our very first soldier. You can see him over here. And then over, this is creating resources, which we have up here. And the soldier is going to move forward and try to kill off any enemies. Now once you build one tower of that type, it's going to be twice as expensive. Next thing I mean, I could do is I could build a turret here, but as you can see, the soldiers are actually able to move a bit further than that. So instead I'm going to build another connector. It's going to allow me to get more energy and then I'm going to try to build the turret a bit closer to here. Maybe this close. And now if the enemies get that close, the turret's going to shoot at them. Yeah, the turret's really good at this. And our soldiers are going to keep moving forward. Eventually you can also sell the turret and try to move it further ahead, which is what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to build another connector here and I'm going to build a turret. So we might want to build one more connector and we'll build the turret, let's say, here. So that's fairly close. It should be in range of this main building. Now remember, if we, every time we destroy a building, we get another surge of enemies because of the sort of negative effect that we got. We also have this drone here, which we can use to, real, to attack a nearby opponents or enemy defenses. So we're gonna place that over here. Can I use that? Oh yeah, we get the drone. Can you can see the drone here now. That's kind of cool. Now the, this yellow thing is essentially how the turret sort of shoots up. We could try to get another warehouse to get more resources, but I don't think it's necessary. I'd rather get another turret, to be honest. Seems like the best. We might need another co connector for that. Yeah, we could only place it here, which doesn't... I don't know if that's going to be in range of anything useful. I'll do that if we play one more connector... This way? No, actually, we don't need to be already restore the defenses. Once you destroy the enemy defenses, they cannot spawn any more creatures, so we essentially won. Alright, next up we can pick with another area with coin and resources, and we now got nine of these rerolls. We also get a new ability overload, increases the amount of energy and resources produced by two for 10 seconds. Recovery time is 60 seconds. That's actually quite cool. That seems good to me. We could also upgrade it by clicking on it. Well, to be fair, I'm not 100% sure if this is upgrade. Or if this is just that we have two... I think this is just that we have two uses. I don't think this is necessarily an upgrade. 
If I do this again, yeah, this now means just three uses. This is not a level three from my understanding. Now we are gonna have to roll and see what we get. And depending on what we get, we're gonna pick coins. I might wanna go for resources this time because we did go for coins. Ooh, we get another reward when winning. That's good. During construction, additional enemy appears. An extra point of improvement when winning. When the resource is activated, additional enemy appears. So let's go for resources this time around. All right. So we've got oh, we've got another tower. We now get a lab. Provides access to research. So we definitely want that, but that's really expensive. As usual, I'm going to try to wait as long as possible before building our very first towers. So we're going to need definitely barracks, definitely warehouse, and then probably a, a, a turret just so that we can kind of hold our position somewhere. Maybe we won't push forward that early on. And then we'll try to get a lab. Let's see. However, when we do the research, it's going to give us new enemies, which is going to be a little rough, but... It's worth a shot. So let me come back to you once we get enough resources and we start building our first thing. But I'm gonna build the barracks now. Behind the barracks I'll build the warehouse. And I'm gonna add one more connector to the front and then build a turret about here. So that we get we get some pretty nice hits on the enemies, or we should. Good. The turret by itself is actually almost killing off the enemies, that's good. And now with the soldiers we should be able to do some extra damage. Yeah, we're getting more and more soldiers in the back. Now we might need to build one more warehouse, so I'm actually gonna do it immediately, because I think we need a lot of resources to be able to, to build off the lab. Let our soldiers move forward, but yeah, I think I think I wanna try the lab in this particular map, so we'll see how well it goes. I could try to move the turret ahead. Maybe we should. Sell the turret, add one more connector there, and we'll place the turret to here. Probably won't go any further than that with the turret, but yeah, it has pretty good range anyway. Uh, and we might want to do overload, but overload costs us a lot of resources, so I don't know. We've got quite a lot of soldiers. Might not even get to building a lab, I don't know. Maybe our soldiers are just gonna go ahead and destroy the enemies. We'll see, we'll see. But it does spawn a lot of dogs, so. Or whatever that is. It looks like a dog. Probably isn't, but... 300 is what we need. I am wondering if the Overlord would be worth it. So let's try it. It's 120. We use the Overlord. Can we get back to 120 in that time? We can only do it just about. So I don't think that was worth it. Yeah. So we need to have way more... Uh, you need to have way more warehouses to make that worth it because we just barely got back what we paid for so now we want to get to build a lab enemies get stronger hold on my my soldiers See, come on come on yeah we already won no time to build a lab all right next time we gotta do a little bit worse or maybe we'll start off with more resources at the beginning. We did pick the resource thing. What do we get now? Barry grants invulnerability to building for 5 seconds. All damage taken by building during the duration of the skill will be repaired by the amount of damage received. Excessive damage will be granted in the form of resources. Recovery time 60 seconds. Let's roll. That seems pretty good. Uh, leveling it up costs us way too much, so we're not gonna do it. Ooh, extra point of improvement when winning. Enemies move faster when approaching soldiers. So let's go for resources again this time. And we don't get anything new now. I think we need to build a turret for that. So again, I'm gonna try to wait till we get a lot more resources. We don't seem to start off with more resources. Maybe the warehouse will produce more. I don't know, like, what... Like, when we pick the resources on the map, it didn't feel like it did much here. Or was it less than 8? We started with 80 this time around, so we'll check next time. Maybe after we win this, what is the next one we're gonna give us? Okay, let's build a warehouse now and a barracks. And a turret, just to be safe. And I think... Oh, we should probably build another connector too. Oh, no enemies coming yet? Okay. Okay, now the enemies are coming. Now I'm gonna try to go for the lab this time, even if it might not be the best decision, like, uh, 
strategy wise because it seems like a good idea if you just run at them from the beginning but I do want to test it out so I'm just gonna wait till I get enough well let's build one more warehouse probably gonna need one more connector build that over here we'll sell the turret and build it a bit further ahead like so and we're gonna stick to the turret here until we get enough for a lab and I know I said that last time and I didn't do it but this time this time we shall keep our promises the last time we won, are you sure about this? Yes. But love isn't more... <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, I see history repeating itself. But I didn't move the turret there at least. I told you. I told you and he didn't believe me. Oh, you were right. I don't know if that deep voice is supposed to imitate my viewers or something. There's another YouTuber who used to say chat, like, you know, like talking to the chat, like if you were playing on Twitch or something, I always thought he was talking to somebody named Chad. I was always like so confused, like, is that a thing on his channel? Is there somebody named Chad who watches his channel? Like, what's going on? And then after about like, I don't know, like 20 videos, and it was really slow on that one. I was like, oh, he means chat with the T. Okay, I get it now. <laughs> so yeah, so in my case, we don't even like, we just use the deep voice. That's the collective thoughts of my viewers. Or any other character depending on the game. Now we still don't have enough for a lab. I really I really should help the soldiers because like we're so close. It just seems like a waste not to. But I wanna know what the lab does. And we don't seem to be getting anything new until we build the lab, so yeah. Also we seem to have a limit on one lab, which I think is quite interesting. Do we wanna try more resources? No, because it costs 140 to take too long to get it back, so. It's just not gonna bother. Ooh, this, the dogs are coming in. That's that's a problem. I'm pushing in very far. Yeah, so we might maybe the lap is gonna cost us this level. I don't know, but I'm building it. Let's build it over here. What does the lamp do? Oh, increases energy production from all connectors by one, increases resource produ production from all warehouses by one, increases the speed of newly appeared soldiers. Let's do that. We can only pick one thing. Oh man. <laughs> can I turn it off? I, mean, I guess I could sell it, but I'm not gonna do that. Alright, but we get faster soldiers now, which is good. Now, at this point, because we did it, we can place a connector. Actually, um, yeah, we could sell the turret and build a new turret that close. I don't think we need another connector though. Oh. Well, let's do in barrier. Oh, we can do barrier. Okay, never mind. Well, our soldiers are moving in. I was gonna do a barrier on this, but it's well, it actually is kind of necessary. Barrier on that building. You can't hit it. It gets fully healthy. Actually, I liked about the fact the barrier seems to also heal it up. So like, even if they hurt it a lot, it seems to just get back to it, which is quite nice. We should probably build another barrack, soldiers. Oof, we're gonna need to sell this. Or repair it. Can't do either. Repair it? Is that gonna help? I don't know. We don't have enough resources to help it. Oh, our turret is almost this dark. Oh, we could do another upgrade. Turrets receive max ammo from the load. The next effect from any one research will last two times longer. So let's increase warehouse production. And we're gonna build another barracks as soon as we can. Alright, I like that we repaired the turret fully, that's really nice. We can also build a drone. Somewhere here. It has been a while since we built drones, so let's do this. Yeah, the turret turret's just barely holding on. So, we do have new soldiers coming, that's good. And we could do another barrier, but I really want to wait for another barracks because I think that's going to help us the most. Oof, the turret got destroyed. So we'll wait for barracks. Barracks go down here, and then I'm going to build another turret as soon as I can, back in that area. But with the double, with the double soldiers, it should be fine. How many buildings do we have? We only have energy for six, but we've got, we've got more than that building-wise. We probably should build another connector. Well, I mean, well, some of these buildings are connectors, so I don't know if that's completely necessary. Yeah, we're gonna leave it, it's fine. Let's just do more, more soldiers. Because we now have two things that produce soldiers, so if you can get more of those twice as fast, that's gonna be even better. 
Overload? No, let's do a drone. Yeah, the drone is coming. Why is the drone standing there? Go there. <laughs> okay, the drone was like, No! I am too scared to fight! Those are weird dogs! I wanna fight them! <laughs> yeah, the drone is just out. It's not gonna happen. Yeah, it's taking a lot longer. If you wait for the lab, it seems like the whole thing is a lot more difficult. Because we could have swarmed it much faster if we just put the turret in fast enough. Let's place another turret. Should we place another connector, maybe? You know where to place it, though. Yeah, there. And then we could place one more turret to here. And just, you know, start hitting... They're hitting them with the turret, really. They are gonna swarm the turret, so I'm gonna try to repair it. With everything we have, so we're gonna be using our resources to continually repair it as it gets hit by the enemies. And we won. So we started with 80 resources, remember that when we do the next one. Oh, and we now get a new ability called Adrenaline. Doubles the damage of soldiers and makes them invulnerable for 5 seconds. That's amazing. So she receives any amount of damage after the end of the skill effects die. Wait, what? So if we don't kill all the enemies, they're just dead dead? Take that back. This is a horrible thing. But we will take the barrier. Let's go for more resources and let's roll for our fate. That. And the research is activated more enemies. The enemy has a chance to split 25% chance. Enemies explode on dead. That's pretty cool. Let's do it. All right. So we started at 77, so it doesn't seem like... I don't know what the resources thing does. It doesn't seem like we start with like higher amounts. Maybe we get resources faster? It doesn't feel that way either though. I mean, maybe? I don't know. Well, either way, I think it's a good time to end the episode here. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, write down in the comments and you can click on the right towards some of my other tower defense games. I'll see you there. Bye bye.